Yo, what's up guys? It's Ember Rocks again here back at it again and we have a pretty fun video today if you couldn't already tell from the title today we're going to spin a wheel with every gun in aimlux on it and see what type of load it will give us it could be godlike like a uz ak-103 pumpkins and a sniper or completely useless like a minigun mg42 flamethrower you guys know the drill at but anyways, let's get right into the spinning. All right, and here we are already on the wheel. As you can see, it has every single gun, including the specials and even stuff like the egg basket, snowball, and even the flamethrower on it because I thought to spice it up a little. Anyways, let's spin our first out of four slots. And it's the M60. Unfortunately, the M60 is a horrible LMG, but hey, whatever, I guess it's good. I guess it's better than nothing. Well, anyways, on to the next spin. Oh no. And the next gun is the TS-12, which is actually a pretty alright shotgun, it's actually not that bad. It's in between, like it's a mix of the Spaz-12 and the Super Shotty, so I'll actually take that quite as well. Next on is the third slot, I hope. What do we What do we want for? I would like an Odin, maybe even a UMP would also be decent. Uh, AK-103 of course, the Uzi is obviously good, the... I would also take an Intervention or my Exploding Pumpkins. Well, let's just hope for any of those. We got the VAK Rogue, which is another shotgun. Well, this is kind of awkward. We pretty much have no range. The M60 is pretty slow and we have two shotguns. Well, it all depends on the last spin then. Please, come on. Let's be something good at least. And it's a snow cannon, of course. Of course, it's that goddamn thing. Well... This is a very horrible loadout, but I guess we just see what we can do with it. So we're gonna see us. I'm gonna equip the guns and then we're gonna see us straight in the games. Well, here we have the loadout. As you can see, it's the M60, the TS12, the VLK Rogue, and the Snowball Launch. Which is a very funny fact, by the way. You do not take uh, damage from this thing, even though it can boost yourself like an explosive. You still keep your health, as you can see. Well, this is the load that we're gonna use for this video. Let's see what we can do. Let's hop right into a round. Alright, and here we are. Straight in the first round of this accursed loadout. Well, what can this... Let's just start talking about all the guns we have in order while using them. The M60. It's an LMG. I don't have much more to say about this thing. It's an LMG. LMGs in this game are just not particularly good. And especially the M60. The M60, even while ADSing, has a ridiculous amount of recoil for no reason. Like, see? This is what I mean. Like, this thing has ridiculous long recoil for no reason. I don't know how this guy didn't kill me, but yeah. It has a lot of recoil. Like, not a lot of recoil, but it has had a lot of spread last time I used it. And that just kind of made the gun almost unusable to what, for me. Only re the only real way you can use it is if you use it medium range. And now since we switched... Uh, ranks. It's a perfect thing to talk about the second gun here. Or let's actually just talk about the fourth gun since we already used it. The VLK Rogue. The VLK Rogue is a very solid, um, pretty much spammable uh, SMG. Pretty much. Shot. Has really good damage. You can want to two tap pretty much anything you want with this thing. And just genuinely, it's nice. Only problem is it's mag loaded. Like, you have an entire mag, so you can only, like, you can't, like, shell reload it one by one with, like, how most other shotguns were. But yeah, that's pretty much all I can say. But it's a very solid gun. Very solid thing. I always like using it. Now, then we can now talk about the second gun we have. The VLK Row. The uh, TS-12. The TS-12 is an interesting candidate, from what I can say. It's decent enough, I would say. It's decent enough. Um, the problem with this thing is you are never allowed. Like, there's a one rule with this gun you can never break. You are never allowed to come fully spam fire the thing. Like, completely drain your ammo out of this thing. Because you will be spending longer than reloading two full miniguns. Like, two, two M60s. Because, this re because the reload consists of, like, putting a shell in and turning the barrel. Which is really obnoxious. Because it just makes the reload so long. Like, forever. And since we die, we can talk about the last thing now we have. Really? The snow cannon. It's 
well, it's about as good as a special weapon can get, in my opinion. It does 50 damage, has really poor um, range, like has really poor um, spray, like not a lot of range, a lot of AoE range. I'm not doing this with you. I am not doing this with someone like you. Die, you pest. But yeah, I'm not doing the like, there's nothing really good about this thing. The only thing, it, the only thing that's decent about it is that it's very spammable. Like, look, you can spam this like a lot. But that's about it. But yeah, this is the lot of we got. It, like, for some people, it might look like I'm doing decently well. That's because I'm surprised myself. I don't know why this thing actually works right now. Because usually this thing is a lot worse. First of all, the bust, like the bullet velocity is slow. That's all I can. The best thing about this thing I can say is it's slow uh, muzzle velocity. That's very slow muzzle velocity, which makes it not ideal for a close range. But that's what you have the shotguns for. Like I would say, the M60 is decent at mid range, but anything close range, just yeah, you better off using a. You would better off using your fists. And after enough, you would you just better off using your fists. Everyone's just dying today. Stop playing so fast. Stop. Stop it. I want to get some kills. In. I want to get. Some, ah yeah, we have double chopper. At least then we can play boss too. I mean, this is satisfying. This can be pretty satisfying. See, that was pretty satisfying, actually. So we're gonna see a straight in the second round. We are in the straight and second and last round, I would say. I think two rounds, two TDM rounds are fine. Yo, goodbye. Sorry. The lobby is at least full. We just need to wait for the team to actually join. Don't even... Wait, she has a bow. No, 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 no. We have a new target on our hands, boys. Well, now we have a goal for the video. Yep, exactly what I thought about you. That's exactly what I thought about that someone with a RPG and a, and a bow. Yike, yeah, 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 yeah. That's very disappointing. Sorry to say, but you're out. And here, and here's the farmers. The farmers is... well, the farmers. Can we get a kill with this thing for once? Don't think so. This thing just has, is not it. The only good thing I like it for is that it has a very high fire rate. That's why you can spam it this much. Nope. We're just gonna move away. Move away more. Moba. This guy is a MOBA player. Like, okay, he maybe he maybe isn't, but it just feels like he is. God, this is why RPG players are so obnoxious to play with. Please die. Thank you. On the side. Yeah. Feels weird having more than 50, 20 bullets in the magazine though. That, I mean, for that it's pretty satisfying to use having a, having something wrong with more than 100 bullets. Like, really satisfying, actually. That was actually pretty cool. Then we have the shotguns to clean things up with. Just then, after then when you have to reload, it's kind of getting kind of annoying. Wow, this thing reloads fast. And I think this is still one of the guns that still hasn't a, that still didn't get a dead reload fix. First, I'm gonna get you. Then die to a mobile player because I might have, might or might not have panicked a little bit on that one. I can't deny. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda panicked on that one a little. Oh, we got an uh, M60 upgrade. <laughs> Level up. Sadly, we never used the gun because this thing is completely useless. Like, in my opinion, if it would get a little higher fire rate, I think your thing would be perfect. Like, or like, get it higher muscle velocity because it feels like there's a little delay between when I shoot and my hit bullets actually hit. Can I actually reload this? Yes, I can. Very slowly. Right, we don't have a we don't have explosives. <laughs> I wanted to put up my pull up my pumpkins and hit them from this, but I did, that did not work. You will not kill me. I'm sorry. Not with my movement, at least. But 33 head damage is pretty nice. Can't deny that. 33 head damage is actually pretty nutty. I like that. It is. This is going actually really well. Anyways, I haven't guys asked you today. How is it guys' day been? Oh, it's going alright. My day has been doing pretty well. It's the first time I'm doing a double video, so yeah. There's definitely something. He died, yes. He died. Good. I mean, the headshot damage kind of goes hard because, you know, it's 33 headshot. Meaning you still can't free tap someone with it because why would you ever be able to? By the way, this is what I love about the VLK. It's sometimes uh, basically how aim block shotguns work. At least that's my theory is that their, that their pellet base and each pellet has to register as their own. But sometimes your pellet registers twice and then just goes kind of crazy and then just spams thing and just one taps them even from a dumb range which i find very hilarious by the way okay we just got sniped so we're gonna retreat real quick reload this is why this is like the best uh case i can think of the lm 
of the LMGs. Just just like camp on this just camp on the high point and just try to spam. Because this thing's a uh, good point. Th this thing's uh, strength is definitely its range. Like for me, this thing sits in a C tier. Like if I would if I would have to rank it, it's like comfortably a C tier weapon, but it's nothing special. Like it does the job and it does it decently well. But since aim blocks is aim blocks and they never want the weapon to free tap you, you can't just do it. Even with this thing, you can't free tap a guy. You need at least four taps, two headshots or five bullets. Which I find is just dumb. Like, at least have some weapons that have high TTK. And not try to make every gun the exact same. Like, not even Phantom Forces does that. I mean, Phantom Forces is a bad example of gun balancing, but you know. Yeah, I don't have any range for this, I forgot. But these people also forgot I have a shotgun. Me lost kill? Yes, me lost kill. Anyways, I hope you guys all have a nice day, evening, or night. I'm Rauk, Seamus Content Creator, and we're gonna see us in the next one.